It's frustrating not being able to fall asleep, so people turn to a popular supplement, melatonin. It's the natural hormone your body makes. Darkness makes it go up and tells your body to sleep. Daylight makes it go down to stay awake. And now a study out of New York and presented at the American Heart Association Conference in New Orleans is making headlines, suggesting adults with insomnia using melatonin for at least a year are more likely to have heart failure or die from any cause. We asked Tulane preventive cardiologist Dr. Keith Ferdinand for his interpretation. But that doesn't prove that the melatonin caused it. These patients may have had other reasons for their disordered sleep. Having disordered sleep can actually increase blood pressure, increase abnormal heart rhythms, and may be one of the underlying reasons why the persons were taking melatonin. Medical Watch has done multiple stories on the work of Tulane neuroendocrinologist Dr. David Blask, who says experimental evidence points to beneficial effects of melatonin in cardiovascular disease. And your natural melatonin at night is important in fighting cancer and weight gain. Along with controlling blood pressure, decreasing cholesterol and blood sugar, losing weight, activity, avoiding excessive alcohol, we know getting six hours more of sleep is one of the best things you can do for overall heart health. I know parents who give melatonin to their children so they can have a calmer night and their child will get to sleep and not fight them on bedtime. Is that a good idea? In general, I would suggest that that person check with his or her pediatrician. It does not sound like the best approach because we want our children to get their sleep. That's true, but to get it in a more natural manner. So get exercise, turn off TVs and devices, cool down the room, wear loose clothes, limit alcohol, avoid noise and light, and get treatment for sleep apnea. And maybe you won't need supplements to get a visit from the Sandman. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. The American Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend regular use of melatonin supplements and emphasizes that parents should really talk to their doctor before any short-term use for kids.